ladies and gentlemen. My friends, we've just finished a Democratic primary. And we have so much to be proud of as Democrats, this year in particular. From the top of the ticket, to what we stand for, to the way in which we are coming together, we have so much to be proud for of as Democrats. But I want to suggest to you that what we are doing this year, what we are doing in the next two and a half months, transcends our party. What we are doing is not a partisan thing. It is a patriotic thing. My friends, our task, which began more than a year ago and which is seen through in cities around this country, it's not just this district, but this task that we face is nothing less than restoring the greatness that was and once again shall be the United States of America. My friends, this task begins with restoring the economic opportunity that for so many generations has been the foundation of the American dream. The path will not be easy and our success is not assured, but we owe it to ourselves, to our country, and to each and every American to work as hard as we can to restore that dream. My friends, we owe it to John Cummings, who I met in Bridgeport over the weekend. And John Cummings approached me and said, you're the guy on TV. What I want to know is what are you going to do for my kids? Because my babies are having babies. My kids don't have opportunity. My kids don't have anywhere to go after school. My nephew is 13 years old and is in prison. What are you going to do for me? We owe it to Jonathan Rosenbaum, who is here with us tonight. Jonathan owns a small business in Stanford, Connecticut, and is sending his daughter to college for the first time. And as I've gotten to know Jonathan, I know that he is struggling with how he's going to both send his daughter to college and pay for the health insurance that he needs as a small businessman. And ladies and gentlemen, we owe it to the young man I met on a beach in Fairfield on July 4th. I approached him, I thought he was maybe 16 years old. But this young man was a United States Marine who was deploying for his third tour to Iraq. I thought he was a high school kid. Third tour to Iraq. I say we owe it to them because each and every one of them can expect of this country that we will stand for all that has always been there for us as Americans. And when I say oh, ladies and gentlemen, for me that is a personal debt. I grew up in a single working mom household. I got to go to a good public school. That background opened doors for me. I counted on a community that would support me. And we need to make sure that that is restored. So, so because I feel that as a personal debt, I am pledging to you tonight to work with each and every one of you to win this seat in November. And then we have a task in front of us, brothers and sisters. But then the work begins, because I will not rest in Congress until every single American has access to high quality health care. I will not rest in Congress until every single American child, whether that child is born in Greenwich or Bridgeport or Hartford or Los Angeles or Beverly Hills, has access to the very best education this country can provide. My folks, this is our task, and I'll close by just saying thank you. It is a high honor to have worked with all of you, and remember, what we are doing in the next two and a half months and in the years to follow is a deeply patriotic mission, because when we do what we are going to do years from now, we will look back on who we were today, and we will say, because of us, we are America, and we are back! Yeah!